Good. Good. Had a pretty, close, pretty fast car in practice. Unfortunately, just missed the um, the cut for the top ten. Still feel good about the chances tomorrow, given the long run speed you guys had. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, my car felt really good in practice. It uh, did everything pretty well. So um, yeah, just uh, I haven't looked at data, but I'm sure I just underdrove one and two a little bit there. So uh, my balance felt really good. Um, I just as soon as I lifted and turned in the corner, I was like, ah. Oh, going a little too slow here and um yeah but uh group b was way faster too than group a but um yeah i think my car is fine so i'm not too worried yeah. I'm starting better than the last few weeks what did you learn in practice that's going to help you with the race and long runs uh well my car stayed good on the bottom um the upper groove you know hasn't come in yet so it probably will today in the spinning race and then you know we'll see how quickly we can get up there but i'm sure i'll be fine you called it on wednesday with me earlier this week saying the track would be really slick and here it is it's really slick but uh how are you adjusting to it uh it doesn't feel too slick um really at all but um i don't know we'll see we'll see it, it should be uh should be fine come the race your thoughts leaving here, going to uh, Talladega, uh, go, tackling that track, and then going to the Roval, uh, kind of a dynamic cutoff, uh, cutoff round. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, for sure, you want to get a good run here at Texas to, uh, you know, pad any you know, sort of craziness that might happen next week, and then obviously you can have a good weekend this week, and hopefully a good weekend next week. It makes the Roval a little bit um, less stressful. But uh, Talladega is, you know, definitely more stressful than, than the Roval. But um, yeah, I mean, it's been kind of this way for a while now. So it's just, it's just, is there any amount of studying you can do for next week? I mean, is, or does it just kind of hang on and, and go go fast? Uh, I don't know. I mean, treat it just like anybody, any other race. So I mean, you study quite a bit, and we've honestly been pretty good at super speedways. Just haven't gotten the finishes uh, to show for it. So. Um, We've been up front, you and a number of them. Just uh, like I said, on paper, it looks like we're probably the worst ever on a Super Speedway. But um, if you really just watch the race back, we're not that bad. Does the track very much different without the, you know, they didn't spray anything on it. They apparently ground maybe a little bit of the bumps. I don't think they sprayed anything on it last year either. Um, or the year before, maybe even. So, um, and we haven't been up there yet. So. The part, the only part that you really get into it is off of four, and it feels like it's got a ton of grip. So once you get into that, so I think it'll still have normal grip, you know, better grip um, than the untreated stuff, even though it's been years or whatever since they've treated it. So it just takes time. It's just dirty up there right now. So once it uh, cleans up in the Xfinity race and gets some grip into the surface, it'll it'll come in pretty quickly tomorrow. Could you do anything different with the tires? Um, I don't know. I mean. I don't really remember what I felt with the tire last year, so <laughs> I was a fortunate one that didn't blow a tire last year, but um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to remember what you feel like you know, a year later. Do you want this track to change? Because there's talking about moving it to the, to the spring, to a March or April race date, uh, and also possibly pulling in the dog leg a little bit to be a mile and a quarter race or changing up turns three and four again. They can't do anything to one and two, obviously, but they, any, any configurations would be on that end of the track or in the front, on the front stretch. I don't know what I would do in Texas. I think they've effed it up <laughs> when they uh, when they remodeled uh, the surface and, and the shape and baking. So um, I don't really think there's anything you can do. I mean, one and two is the corner I think that needs the most help. Um, but if they can't work on that, I don't really know if shortening up the dog leg is going to do a ton to the racing. But you don't want it reconfigured like Atlanta. Drivers Hell no. That. <laughs> no. Heck no. They need to, I, I wish, you know, well, I guess short tracks kind of suck with the next gen car. So I would, a few years ago, I would say, you know, make this a, you know, three quarter mile track. Uh, but now, I, I don't know. I don't know what you do. So um, I'm not really sure. I don't have the answers. Don't put dirt on it, though. Don't put dirt on it. No one has the answer, <laughs> I don't think. Yeah. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.